Hello everybody and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where uh, we are surveying the damage I did last time. <laughs> she uh, did an amazing job so in tearing fun. down that wall. That was so fun. Absolutely stellar. Right, uh, in today's episode, our primary task is to upgrade the defences that we've got. That involves yep. adding spider lip all the way around and adding spikes all the way around, and also upgrading my little uh, tower shack back here. So um, is, spy is the spider lip just going to be a um, like half blocks? Yeah, or just cobble, it... uh, cobble stone half blocks all the way around. That's all it is. All it needs okay. to be. I shall make some cobblestone half blocks then. Right here. I uh, should be able I will to start make... on the spider defense. And you can do spikes. Yep. Sound good? Sounds like a good division of labour, yes. I put a load of cobblestone back in here. I probably got it all on me right now. I can <laughs> happily drop off a bunch of that. Thank you. There we are. Uh, have we got anything more? We may need to do a little bit more. Um, oh, there's a bunch of spikes there. Fantastic. Another vault door. Also fantastic. This vault door is going to mean the last bit of uh, digging around constantly for us. I'm putting in a door to allow us out of our base. Out to the base tower, that is. Uh, up onto the garden of our of our area. At this point, the garden area is going to be worth do building things in. Because um, up to now, it really hasn't been, because we would have to go through so much yeah. effort to actually do anything of work. Yeah. And of course, I will also upgrade all of the tiles around the vault door. So. You alright? Just remembering how to rotate. Uh, if you hold down R, to... it'll bring up the yeah. advanced contextual menu. And I believe it is Thanks. the... If, if you consider it like a compass, it's east. Allows you to turn on advanced rotate. So I press R and then I just hover over advanced and it turns it on? Or do I have to click on it? Yep, hover over it. And then advance is on, and then from that point, you can just rotate um, freely through all of the potential orientations of that block. And is that using left click to rotate? Yep. No. Yes. Right click places. I don't want to upgrade those. Gotcha. Though, honestly, at this point, if something wants to get in, it'll just tunnel it down through the ground. So there's limited point to upgrading this. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now with that done, we can now add in the vault door. Actually, I need to make sure that I'm orienting it right. I want the part that opens is where the hinges are. Yep. Yes, one wall done. So we want that to be inside. We want the doors to open inside, like so. Pop. Pop out. Perfect. Vault door installed. Now with that, we can get rid of these uh, items there. The stairs. Yep. Now, unfortunately, I can't get these back, so I'm just going to have to take these down. Really? Come on. There we go. I'm going to get a decent chunk of metal back, but not as much as went into my game. 
That being said, I can't remember how much forged iron is required for iron spikes, so it's probably not going to be a, a full return. I'm thirsty? How dare. Oh, I haven't got my tea on me. Also, how dare. Have the tea gods abandoned you? No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I'm going to drink twice to make amends. There we go. Uh, okay, snow, iron bars, can we grab those? Yes, we can, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna start smelting a load of the iron that we've got. We've got a thousand iron. I need that to be back into iron that I can forge with. Quite desperately. Additionally, we have ridiculous amounts of um, steel arrowheads. So I'm going to set the workshop to make a bunch of those for us. Yeah, make them into the crossbow bolts or arrows or whatever you want to do. Yeah. I'm going to make 457 of them. That doesn't leave us with much wood, though. So we need I can to go with, out one. with the chains or get some more wood in a minute if you want. I'm uh, not fine. far off being done with the spider defences. Oh, wow. Really? Well done, Sheila. Mm -hmm. That's excellent work. Absolutely excellent work. I'm just not quite sure how to do the spider defenses around my tower, though. I'm a little bit unsure. Uh, as to... I'll come and have a look at that one. Yeah. The rest check. is fairly straightforward. Yep, on my way now. Ah, right, right, right. I see. Yeah, yeah, I can see the confusion there. Yeah, um, because it goes straight into the wall. Could honestly bring up the spider defense all the way to... Uh, actually, I'll, I'll pop down some of them just to create the effect. And for the other side, we're going to want this one. What we want to do as well is dig away possibly some of this that the zombies can jump on. Yeah, no, we absolutely want to do that. Right. So go ahead and bring it all the way up to that point. And then around on this side, I'll pop in a little bit of a spider defense here as well. So we don't need it to be a full block. All we needed to do is to prevent a spider from being able to get up past it. Yeah. So on this side, just put two in on that side as well, and then you're good to go. Right, at this point, I am going to go around and repair all of the spikes that we've got. They have done work on this side. They've done a lot of work. And they're going to be doing a lot more as well. Uh, right, let's uh, match rotation. We don't need these spikes to kill anything. In fact, we don't really want them to. We just want them to be a thorn in the enemy's side. Pun mostly not intended. Everything always just needs repairs. Arrgh. Really? Why? Uh, snow. Two of those. Should be able to replace these. It takes ages to actually make uh, a bunch of snowballs into a snow block that you can place now. Yeah. It's kind of vexing. Okay. I'll make another one. Oh, there You're we trying go. Trying to sort of even the ground out. So yeah, I should have put. Big. I should have put down the um, frames first. That was that was sinless on, on my part. I do not want regular, I just want simple. Uh, sorry, advanced, rather. I just want simple. Cool. You can use frames to, to sort out any kind of weirdness in the way the terrain moves. For the most part. There we 
There we go. Is this going to work now? There we are. I'm going to prioritize getting your area defended with the spikes first. Thank you. You're welcome. You're confident that you can keep your area defended? Uh, not particularly, but I feel that mine has more option for uh, getting out of harm's way, if need be. Yeah. I think yours is do or die based on whether it can do what I've uh, designed it to do, really. And that should hold together reasonably well. I have faith in help? your designs. Thank you. That means a lot. Let's dig all this back. Probably going to need to fill in this area with snowballs. We can recover some Do you some have any snowballs on you at the moment? I can try and make some snow blocks. Um, we've got so many thousands of snowballs in the base that we may as well just go over there and grab them. There yeah. shouldn't be any particular problem with this. I'll go grab some and start making the snowballs. And we don't really need to take it back that far. We just need it back from the immediate edge of the wall. Yeah. Beyond that is unnecessary. But we might want to do it just for aesthetics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Obviously not today. No. Definitely not today, in fact. All right, let's see what frame magic can do. Uh, this section is a little bit of a concern. Might be worth me filling that with some more cobble. May just end up upgrading quite a lot of this, but I, well, that should be enough, actually. Let's bring that back. Yeah, right. It does seem to take quite a long time to make a snowball. It does, doesn't it? Well, we're, we're not strictly making the snowballs, of course. We're making the uh, snow blocks out of snowballs. Snow. Yeah, snow. All right. I think this should be fine. Having this up there shouldn't pose any particular problem to the defenses. But while I'm here, I will upgrade as well. So yeah, just pop the uh, snow snowballs. It's the perimeter that matters. But honestly, yeah. filling in the land nearby, because if the zombies get an idea to undermine, that could be awful for us, because they can they can just plow through snow. Um, man, so many puns, and I swear, I don't mean any of them. I'm on <laughs> fire tonight. My lord. Uh, but I wish I could be like you. <laughs> I imagine uh, Hopsquick so is delicious. Hopsquick is watching this and just Mwahaha. rolling her eyes. Mwahaha. But if you can fill in all of the way back to the regular, um, like the stone that we're not digging up, just mm -hmm. so that it's. I can only do a little bit of snow at a time because it's taking ages to make the snowballs. But yeah, that's fine. I'll do my best. Almost got this entire wall done though, so we should be okay. Yep. I'm going to try and even it out between the two um, sections just because. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Get the snow all leveled Never out. Know, zombies might actually dig through some of this for us. They may well do, actually. Yeah. There's, there's a reasonably uh, good chance of it happening. Right, that's the last of my iron frames that I can place down for now. Or will be in just a moment. Level that out. Right, that's it. I am out. How much cobble have I got? I've got a reasonable amount. I should be able to upgrade the spider defense. At least around the edges. Dog! I know, and all I've got is a bloody mallet. Leaving. I should have okay. switched. Behind you, behind you. Lots of them. Oh, 
Are you bleeding? Yeah. Just getting it sorted. Got more on their way. Gonna take a shot. One hit, it's inbound. Miss. Missed. Dead. Well done. Let me turn to the last moment. His friend. Incoming. There we go. We're sorted. Nice. That was the last of them. Okay, a little bit of damage, but nothing nothing we need to worry about. I'm certain I can hear a zombie screaming somewhere. At the very least, your two sides are now, for almost all intents and purposes, fully um, guarded. Yeah. I put my uh, my knife somewhere so the dogs can be yours to harvest. Uh, I did think that I, I saw a, a knife in your in the compressed loot that seemed uncommon. Um, it will be in the tools chest at this point, though. Yeah. I'll uh, dig that out in a second. Hi. a lot better already. Alright, it's about to get, to get to midday. I'm going to invest the last bit of my cobble just upgrading the defences here, but I do need to worry about my uh, my little shack. Oh, yeah. Such that it is. If you redesign it, I'll help upgrade it. It's just I didn't know what you want to do with it. Uh, Sure. Yeah, that, that, that sounds good. Got a zombie dog out the back, but it's nothing really that worrying. I'm just going to take it out. Or well, I would if I had good aim. Okay. Dunk. There we go. Nice one. Thank you. Right then. Um, we should have a bunch of snow in the base. I want to make sure that that wall is not going to be dug through by zombies. Mm -hmm. As a bit of a priority, beyond that we should be okay. Uh, Which wall? The one I'm filling the snow in at the moment on? Yes, or? yes, ideally. Well, we've already got a good strip of like... Of? Of, um, of flat snow now. Excellent. And then obviously the spikes there, that means that they're going to not really try to burrow t as much either. They'll probably still try, they just won't succeed very well. Yeah. Um, let me go down here. There's the steel arrows made. Oh. Need to go for it. If you wouldn't mind, that would be excellent actually. We've got 250 shotgun shells. Wow. No one ever uses a shotgun. We've just been saving them up. Might be worth us looking into, actually. Given actually that. using them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, we've got no ammo. Oh. I've actually got tons. Let's start making some cobblestone. And just make those in my inventory. Right. I'm going to go and put the finishing touches to your um, defensive area. Then Thank I'll you. come back and start working on mine. We do need to work a little bit more on just upgrading the spider defense, but outside of that, it's not too much work. So the spider defense, you just want to make it stronger. It's already yeah. the right shape and everything. Yep, cool. pretty much. Waste not, want not. Little zombie dog. still falling down. I got to it so fast that it was still falling out of the sky. That's fantastic. Lots of food, a level 6 flashlight, and that's it. And some honey. I have no idea why 
The flashlights have levels. I, I, I honestly have no clue. Because you can't mod them. No, you can't. Actually, I shouldn't have upgraded those. Um, I will leave... Well, as it happens, the zombies are going to have plenty of roots around. So I guess it doesn't matter. Even if they can't access uh, the front properly, they should be able to access the back. So I will upgrade this all the way to problem. Zombie cops are no joke. They are not. Just going to upgrade the parts where it's likely a zombie cop would take a, a shot at you. Once we've had a chance to test out like the, the sort of design of the, the house, the, the uh, sort of huts on the top of the towers, then we can put them in concrete. Yeah. But I just sort of feel like it'd be good to just make sure there's no flaws in the design before we do that. Yeah, exactly. There's no there's no point in not upgrading it to concrete, but taking it any... Uh, sorry, there's no point in not upgrading it to cobble rock, but taking it any further is potentially yeah. just a waste. Maybe slight fallacy there. There we go. Right. I'm going to get my claw hammer out and I'm going to start just upgrading this spider defense. All right. You've got plenty of uh, lights in there now, so that should be easy enough to work with. Wonderful. I could even add a box for your Horde Knight stuff. Ooh, you know what? Yeah. She Labs Horde Knight defense box. Some medicine, some bandages, some ammo. She's totally going to use all the time. We're gonna do this. It's gonna look great. I need, <laughs> I need nails. I also need. Oh, I need wood. You mind if I grab the chainsaw and head out? No, no, you go for it. I was gonna do that, but yeah, you you go for it. There's loads of fuel. I'm gonna grab the auger as well. Cause we're out there, slowly clinking away. Well, we've got a bloody auger and a chainsaw. Why? No, no. Yeah, Ted Earps. Right. Be right back. Okay. So, everyone on my, uh, who's been watching this on my side who has yet to see the chainsaw or an auger in action, let's uh, load you up. No one in my side has seen an auger. They've only seen the chainsaw, it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, pretty much. All of the melee in this game understand that it is basically just point blank shooting. The chainsaw and the auger are no exception to this role. Pure point blank shooting. And that's why when you're swinging an axe or something or a club and you're fairly certain it's like well I saw the swing of that club go through the head of the thing I was attacking. Well the problem with that was that your cursor wasn't exactly on its face and melee is infinite speed like one meter range shoot it. So, you shot straight over its shoulder, even though the animation took your club through its face. Yeah. Just the way you got all set. I know, I'm taking down very young trees. We need to make room around here. This will allow us to have a better, bit of a better sight on uh, potential scallywags. Also, almost out of uh, fuel. Oh, there we and go. That for, uh, Reloading. For that. Have I got any forge sign on me? I do not. Right, next up, the auger. Let's uh, load you up. Oh, you're already loaded. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to come and take down all of the stone over here. Okay. With now the this, auger. Yeah, this is loud. I want to see. I'll have some snowballs to fill in behind you as well. But much like the chainsaw, it's basically a point blank infinite speed ranged weapon that does lots of damage to the ground types. So dirt, um, rock. It's effectively a terrain drill. Super, super good at modifying terrain. Especially if something is difficult to dig through. This thing will just tear it apart. Do you get a lot of uh, cobblestone rocks back from it or not so much with it? Nope. 
Um, I get, you know, the the amount of resources I would have mined otherwise. It doesn't ever modify how much you get. That's based on your skills and how many resources were in the item itself. Bumpy. Is that because of the frame? Uh, yeah, just place down wooden frames. Just like on top of the snow that's already down. Yep, and then I'll flatten it. And over here, we are going to need to fill that in with snow. Uh, have I got much snow on me? I've got a little bit. Raspy, snow, fill it out. 15 blocks will do. Uh, yeah, don't worry too much about the snow over here. Just fill in the snow down here a little bit, down a ways. Okay. And then we should be good. You've done a, a great job of, of generally getting all of this sorted. We can leave some of this as just stone on the ground, as long as it isn't lumpy. Um, and yeah. likely to make it so that zombies can jump over things. It's the only thing we need to avoid. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's all my snow gone, right. unfortunately. Uh, a long time to make it, and I'm making cobblestone right now. Yeah, no, that's oh, fine. No, I'm making nothing right now, actually. I, I shall start snow. placing down a bunch more stuff. Oh, I don't want 950. No, no, no you no, no. absolutely do not. This is true. Maybe like 30. Yeah, maybe at that. I'm not even certain on that one. Right, at that point, we can just start uh, laying frames to try and flatten the terrain wherever possible. Just to get things nice and even for when we start placing things down. And by doing this, you can also see where the train is changing elevation. So that should be okay right there. Now we just need to run it along the front. But there we are. We've got plenty of wood. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and pop this back inside. Um, we've got this tiny little bit here that I need to fix. There we go. Perfect. Right, okay. Heading back in then to continue work. I'll get more forged iron on the make so that we can have plenty of forged iron spikes at the front. And that will do. That will go a long way to uh, protecting us. Pop a bit of wood in here. Forged iron. Another 88. Please and thank you. Do we have anything more that I can melt down? Um. We do and we don't. Uh, I've got lots of iron pipes that I could smelt. I've got an anvil I can smelt. I kind of want to keep those, though, because we can use them later on to set up a, a better forge room. That I think would be quite useful. Let's drop off the snow block and put the snow balls in there. Uh, we've got a, a lot of saplings to replant as well. There we go, make loads of cobblestone. Alright, making some progress, everyone. Little by little, bit by bit. Gonna get a bunch more forged iron spikes on the make. Okay. Now I think, uh, actually, I was going to add in a little chest so you had a supply stash in your um, yes. little area over here. Elab supply stash. Oh, I meant to drop off the ball going the chainsaw. Unfortunately, that is now going to be right there, which is kind of super annoying. Oh well. Let's take it in here. Probably one of the better places to put it. It's too high up for a zombie to easily use it as an access point. And so otherwise, it'll generally just be ignored. And there we go. What I'm going to do now... Storage box. And bomb. There you go. 
Large storage box, just under the bars, so you can easily place things in there as needed. Just below the uh, bars that you'll be shooting out from. Now, oh, wonderful. I'm going to go have a little look at my tower now, see what you Yeah, by done. all means. Uh, I think I'll do the same thing over on this side as well. It makes a lot of sense to have easy access to uh, supplies to defend yourself. Though, yeah, that's definitely side, looking a lot better where that wall came down because it's looking like not as good. the zombies have to jump over the a bit of the, the stones and stuff. But if they want to spend time digging through them, that's fine. But it's kind of flat in front of the wall at least. Yeah. So they'll be digging through the cobble rather than the uh, snow. Okay, I'm going to start adding some shape to this tower. It may end up being still quite blocky for this first night, at least. But that's better than nothing, I think. Yeah, I like my house. It's pretty cool. So I can even look out the windows and check if there's zombies coming along the wall or anything like that, if they happen to somehow get up there. Yep, absolutely. I hope they won't. So do I. If they, if again, if they make it up there, we're in a lot of trouble already. I'm hoping that the fact that we have made the place so much smaller and we've, um, you know, we split mm -hmm. ourselves up a bit is going to help. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's quite a large area for, for me to defend, honestly. This part of me just wants to leave the outside. This area over here open so that I can walk along it. I mm. might do, actually. I don't feel that I need it to be this large to defend it. You know what? is going to be so much faster. By getting close enough to use it, of course. Ah, I know it's loud, everyone, but it is so much faster. That being said, this is only a quality one auger, so it does take a while to dig through things. But uh, a higher quality auger, I think, would dig better. I'm not entirely sure yeah. about that. I'm not entirely sure how that mechanic works. I have never even used an auger before, so I don't know anything about it. Would them. you like to use one? As a quick test? Um, I'm okay just now. I'll maybe take it out and, and level some more of that cobblestone out. Sure. I imagine it's very similar to... Chainsaw, basically. Chainsaw, yeah. You could be the It makes pew pew sounds instead of. Yeah, it makes bark, incredibly bark. loud pew pew sounds. Thankfully, in post production, I'm going to be able to uh, drop the sound of the game and boost the sound of the shoe lab. So, you're going to be able to hear her talking very easily. Me, though, me, I can scarcely hear myself think, much less anyone else talk. And, uh, look, okay, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I hope you'll all understand. It's it's super important to me. I this is literally the reason why I made the gap between the tower and the wall too wide, by the way. This is absolutely the reason I did that. So uh yeah. Sorry, not even remotely sorry. Ah, look at that. Look at that. I love this place. So good. And go up there, yeah. Nice and easy like. There we go. Okay. Right. Um That being said, I could have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit there you go. I don't think nice. she got to get off the screen. She wasn't back on her feet in time. And that is ideal. But yeah, thinking about it, I could actually have the entry point for my, my base be a two wide corridor with a nice big old arch. Ah, I like arches, okay? They look grand. Let's get all of this down. Well, well, I'm making some more cobblestone. Okay. If you would like, um, have you upgraded all of the spider defense now? No, but not by a long shot. Well, that's probably one, more important than my horde base yeah, for now. Yeah, one entire wall over here is done. 
Okay. Probably leave a too wide gap above for iron bars, so I can take out any potential vultures up there. I may even make it so that you can climb up on top of this base from there. That would probably be quite cool, actually. Oof. I am getting tired. Keep running out of cobble. Yeah? Yeah, I'm making it. I'm using it up as fast as I'm making it, basically. Yeah. That's going to be fairly normal for us right now. There we go. Now, I'm going to want some windows offering me visibility out to the sides, I think. Alternatively, some doors. I could just go out and attack from here. From a relatively safe area? That's a possibility, I suppose. Um, let's see. The main thing is just to uh, upgrade the front. Because that's the part that's going to be taking the, uh, the brunt of the attacks. go. First signs. Yeah. You were making some uh, more crossbow bolts, weren't you? Uh, I have. I've actually made them. We've got a cool. total of um, 500, uh, 644 steel crossbow bolts currently. Nice. That should be enough. I'm hopeful that's going to be enough. Because if it isn't, we're in a bit of trouble. Oh, didn't notice this. Uh, I'll take the forge line as well. Yeah, I think I think the rest we could probably safely. Oh, the car filters. I I melt those down. I suppose the lead trophies and such. We go get some more spikes made. Right, it's just the one side of uh, spider defense we're doing now. Uh huh. And then the whole wall is done. Right, I need. Actually, I do need a lot of. Ah, damn. I was a bit of a dirt there. Okay, I'm going to have to dump in a load of short iron pipes to try and get back some iron. Because I do not have enough to add the grating that I need. Oh no. Yeah, kind of a dirt there. It's all on me. So that's all good. If you don't have enough spikes to lay down everywhere, don't worry about the corners. Because they will typically... Spikes? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I was talking more to uh, anyone watching who's oh, looking okay. for defensive tips. The corners are fine. You don't have to worry about the spikes in the corners. They're good to have if you can afford it, but not necessary at all. Okay. There we go. At the end of the day, I can always put uh, some cobble up top to isolate. I think I'd like to have some windows, though. Maybe even two windows eventually. I need more stones now. Do you have any stones on you at all, or is there any sort of hanging around? Uh, stones? There should be some yeah. hanging around in the base, yeah. Okay, let me just double check. Mm. No? Unless they're in the loot. Thing. I, I think I've had them. To be oh, right, okay. In that case. Do you have case, any on you or not? 
Um, I've got... No, I don't. I've got cobblestone on me, though, that you can have if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Cobblestone, that's all I need. That's what I'll need the stones for. Yep. Figured. Come on, straight back up. I'll drop that down for you. Yeah, I'm up here. Yep. Just to do those last sort of six or seven blocks of um, there you go. cobblestone upgrading. It's on the floor. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, shall I bring it back to you uh, when I'm done? Would you need it for building if anything? If you're able to, it would be appreciated, yeah. I only had like four blocks. I was only short by such a tiny amount. <laughs> I need four yeah. blocks worth of it. But that's still like 80 cobble. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, here we go. Dunk, dunk. There you go. That's it back Thank for you. you. Just going to see if I've got enough uh, iron in the base for everything I need. Right, I'm going to go ammo more. myself up. Can get three. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... No, we're not. I might end up with four if I'm lucky. Four would be certainly better than none. Yeah, I'll end up with four. Anything else I can smell? Um, I really don't want to smell down anvils. Don't blame you. Okay. Well, time to start equipping yourself for the, the horde. horde night. Yeah. yeah. There's also 576 stone in the uh, forge. Uh, not smelted, it's just there, ready to be used. I'm going to take some of these first aid bandages. I'll try not to use them unless I have to, but uh, good oh, no. emergency. Don't hold back if you want to use them. Please, please do. Please do. I won't have to. Addition, yeah. I mean, ultimately, it would be best if you didn't have to. Um, drop off a load of the wood there. Got forged iron with me. I'll wear my glasses. Well, yeah, I'm gonna wear my glasses because I'm not gonna need sight for you. I'm gonna drop off my night visions. Uh, drop off the auger. My wrench is gonna be necessary. My chainsaw's not gonna be necessary. Um, got some half blocks that I can use for a little bit of a building project, should I need it. Is there anything else I needed? Not really, no. Oh, repair kit. I strongly recommend you grab two repair kits from... I'm going to pop okay. them in the tools chest. And I'm going to grab... Oh, there's a shotgun. There we are, there's a shotty. I'll grab one of those extra ones. There we are. I'd like to repair the shotgun, please. There we go. And my pistol as well. And I'm going to grab... You don't mind me taking the shotgun, do you? No, not at all. Take all the, the yeah. ammo for it. I've got 113, 7.62. All right, there's still a little bit of um, steel um, bolts in there. There's also the 7.62 mm -hmm. ammo. Uh, and I guess if, you, if you're certain you don't mind me using the shotty, then I'll, I'll grab all of that too. Yeah, you grab all the shotgun stuff. I'll use the AK and the pistol. Aye, aye. Got my peels. And also got my Molotov. Um, get those off. There we go. Make sure you've eaten up. And drunk for that matter. I massively recommend you keep your um, drink and your uh, bandages on your hotbar. Hugely recommend okay. that, actually. Like, right at the back is what I would, I would uh, suggest having them. my AK ahead of time as well because it's more than halfway. Damn it. 
Ah, I put that in the wrong orientation. <laughs> I'm such oh, a fool. Oh no! Oh well, too late. It's done now, so I'm gonna live with it. Ah, no, I'm shy by one. Yeah, one of back. what? Uh, j uh, just the um, flagstone blocks. Ah. Right, are you heading over to your little uh, hall base? I am indeed. Okay, well, best of luck, Sheila. I'll close that door. Bring that down. Make myself a quick half block. Let's see how we do. Right, this is about as. Oh, actually, I do want my uh, claw hammer thinking about it. Where are you? There we go. Right, I've closed down all of the hatches, so this is pretty much it for us now. Yep. Best of luck. I think we're relatively well prepared. We yeah, will, of course, see. So. Proof is in the pudding and all that. But I think we've got a decent chance of holding our own here. All right, time to reload all your weapons. Make sure they've got everything you need. Got my light from my miner's helmet. I don't need additional lighting, I don't think. Let's reload my shotty. Make sure my crossbow's using steel. There we are. Okay, best of luck. Let me know if you spy them. Actually, I'm gonna pop out briefly. I'm coming oh, no. this way. Okay, I've got I've got some on my side. There's already a cop down there. Yeah, I've got some heading to me. Not many, mind. Oh no, here they are. Now the zombies will path to the person they're hunting, and some are hunting me, and some are hunting Sheila. Can already hear a spider. Yeah. Go. But what should be happening is we're splitting the mob, so they're not going to uh, group up in such large amounts and thus gain massive damage bonuses. There you go. There's a spider. Oh no, spider! Speeder already there? Do you need help? No, I'm bashing him okay. in the face. Let me know if you need me to head over. There are a few other things that we can do to make the spider defense more effective. And that is by putting spikes at the top of it. So when the spider tries to climb, it does massive damage to itself and then will fall back down. Even regular barbed wire would work quite well for it though. You right? Yeah. What's going on on your side? I'm just shooting them all in the face and... Okay. Got 59. Now, the reason I have foregone my uh, night vision goggles is for the EXP gains that my nerdy glasses give me. 10% extra EXP is massive on a whole night. Oh, damn. Oh, what's this? We can hear some of the zombies, though, are going to be killing themselves on the spikes down there, but... Yeah. A little bit of lost EXP from that is probably worth accepting, given the danger of a Horde Knight. With the numbers that we're going to start seeing, thanks to our game stage. Yeah. Oh, zombie cop. Oh, no. Damn it, you got to spit off before I can take you out. I was hoping to hit him before we did that, but... We may yeah, have to do a little bit of damage repair on my side just because I'm not as good at getting the cops. Oh, that's fine. It is built of pretty stern stuff. As long as nothing breaks, that's the main thing. Repairing stuff is fine. It's super this easy to repair. This is why we made it out of like double reinforced concrete though, is to withstand yeah. the zombie cops until I could get them killed. Yeah, exactly. The main thing is to hopefully not allow them to... Uh, decide to charge and explode. Because that's the worst. Always the worst is when we do that. Because that can do a lot of damage to a lot of blocks. Yeah, one of mine just did that, unfortunately. 
I wasn't quite able to do enough damage Sometimes to him before you he just can't, down. yeah. Loot bag. What kind of uh, zombies are you seeing on your side? Cops, um, ferals. Not seeing any, too many whites, though. Seeing any irradiated yet? No. Oh, excellent. There we go. I'm going to have to ask uh, our viewers to let me know which side saw the larger horde. Out of curiosity. <laughs> yeah. Hard to tell, really. It is really hard. I, I wouldn't be able to, to guess at it, but it, I've only had like three zombie cops so far. I've only had about three, but then like obviously six is quite a lot when they're all together. Yeah, that's that's the thing. By having two that's separate spots. That's the nice spots, thing about the two towers. Yeah. This is no harder than maybe the second or. Th I don't think it's as hard as the third one was. Yeah, and because the the zombies are strictly hunting individual people. It doesn't matter. It, it, they are properly splitting in half, basically. Yeah. By having different uh, angles for their approach. Oh, oh, there we go. I managed to stop them from splitting. Uh, but by having different uh, potential angles for their approach, it will. Even if the towers are right next to each other, as long as you force anything trying to attack one person to take a different route, then you can split the horde up quite convincingly. A previous design of uh, this particular tower setup that I've had had two towers, or rather one just big central tower, probably no bigger than the tower I'm stood on, but with a central wall with a vault door in it that you kept closed during the Horde night. So that any zombies that wanted to get to me would find an easier path going up the uh, the kind of um, crenellations that led to my yeah. side of the tower and any of the zombies that wanted to get Shelab would go up the crenellations leading to her side of the tower because when they considered trying to beat through a vault door and a wall in order to get to Shelab from my side it wasn't cost effective in terms of time so they would just walk around the whole tower to approach from the correct side and that split the group up massively as long as they're not really close together they don't form into a uh, high damage mob yeah, exactly. Okay. And we've not had, uh, fingers crossed, any of them trying to spawn inside the compound, so that's no. a good sign as well. No, I, I think... proximity. Yeah, I, I think our, our changes have fixed things. That being said, I could to see. probably do with just poking around and having a look to make sure nothing has gotten inside, but... If the, a spider had gone inside, and that's about the only thing I could imagine getting inside, I'd already know about it because it'd be eating my bum. Ah, no. Uh, get off me, spider. Oh, there's a spider in here, and I can't get my crossbow on. Done. Okay, I'm taking a shot. Are you all right? I fell in. No, yeah. it's dead. It's dead. Bandage up. literally stuck. Switch to a different weapon. Bandage up. Funny I should have mentioned spiders, I guess. Eating my bum. Suddenly, spider eating Sheila. Sorry use, about that. No, no, don't apologize. Thank you use, for the help. Use your... I didn't help much. Use your uh, It was pain because it was, it was just stuck focused in, and then I had to just press right-click again, but it was... I, yeah. I, had, I barely took any damage. I just panicked. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had I really exactly the same thing happen before. Not realize that I'm stuck in zoomed-in mode. But I'm seeing a lot of these spiders, unfortunately. How many the second arrows? spider to have made it in. The first one, I just whacked it loads with my club. Damn. And that worked really well. But then, obviously, if I couldn't change weapon, it was like, oh, I can't do anything now. Ah. Yeah. No, exactly. It definitely is a, a cause of panic. No shame in that. Slowly making my way through this. Well, the nice it's thing about my tower now. is I can just go out the back door and I've got a good sight on anything that was potentially attacking you. Ah, yeah. I mean, it's true of your tower as well. If you just peek out the door, you'd be able to see the rear of my tower, but not necessarily anything going on inside, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, they're starting to He's really group up on my side now. Level 61. 
Glorious. Wow. I don't know what level I am. Probably ah. level 50. Oh, don't be silly. Something. We're relatively close together, I think. I'm probably just a no, little I bit don't. ahead. No, I just genuinely don't know what my level is. Uh, oh, right, okay. 56. I, I, actually, I will confess, it's a little bit further apart than I was expecting, but again, I s strongly suspect that's because of my nerdy glasses giving me bonus HP. Mm. Ah, taking such silly shots. More speed, less haste. Ah, back. Oh dear, they haven't broken the stairs. Oh. Does it look like it's broken? They looked like they were struggling to get up, but they seem to have done it now, so... Given that it's concrete, I doubt they've broken that, but, uh, you know, strange things can happen sometimes. Actually, you know what? I'm starting to wonder if the nerdy glasses work yeah. the way I thought they did. I'm they broke the stairs around my side. Is it still workable for them? Just, but they have to kind of jump up. Okay. Well, we'll need to reinforce that then. Perhaps make yeah, the uh, repair it. the ramp leading up significantly more reinforced. Is it perhaps a zombie cops blowing up or anything like that? Probably, yeah. It's probably is something along those lines. Right, we're at one thirty. I'm not sure how many zombies we can expect given our game stage, but we seem to be doing okay. But I will uh, consider reinforcing your stairs leading up if you're having problems with it. My stairs would double reinforce concrete. Mm, okay. Well, I can make twice as many stairs then. That is like two separate paths leading up to the central point. Got a Just to give them the top extra. taking a shot at me. Oh, and a vulture. Oh no, it's a vulture taking shots at me. Oh, I don't like you. I'll take you out with a pistol if I can. Oh no! Bloody What's spitting wrong? vultures! Yeah, they just crashed the game again. <laughs> Dread Diamond oh, no. Blast! Uh, However, we do know that this is working well. Yes, we do. Right. Be right back. Now, when you get back in, it should all be safe. It looks like we've lost basically no time at all. Oof. Okay. You're back in recording everything going okay over there, Shilab? Yep. Okay. Yep, back in recording everything going okay. So sorry that, for that, everyone. I will... Ah. Initially, I really didn't want to mess around with any of the config files. You can simply disable certain zombies in the game if you want to. And as much as the vultures are a part of the game, I've always had problems with them coming in and then causing the game to crash. And this is on multiple PCs. I've not read anywhere on the forums whether this is a, a regular thing that other people struggle with, but it's specifically the kind of evolved version of the zombie vultures which can spit like the, the zombie cops can so i will do my best to get them out of here all right okay just had to check the defenses there a little bit but it looks okay for now i think they're uh, slowly wrecking the side of the wall we may have lost the loot bags though as well see that no, there the was reload. some loot bags on the floor as soon as I logged in. Oh, excellent. And They're still case, sat there. That's fantastic news. Ah, oh, damn it. But yes, what I can do is I can go into the config files and disable the, the spitting vultures. And if anyone else is having trouble with that... Because again, I, I, I've not actually seen on the forums that it's a common problem. But if anyone else is having trouble with that, I can uh, leave... Uh, or maybe do a little quick guide video or just leave uh, text instructions in the description on how to take them out of the config file so that they don't mess up your game. Yeah. That sucks if you've like done a really good base and you've gotten really far into the game and you're really enjoying yourself and then... I think they're trying to break in. Yep, they are. Okay then. Time for you to get out from there. I don't want you messing with my base. 
Stop it. All of you scallywags. Oh, yeah. Come and fight me properly. Nope, thank you. In the you. way I demand you fight me. Yeah, exactly. I've made this bold. beautiful base to encourage you to fight me. And then you're faffing around over there. My lord. How rude. How rude. I know. Just, just don't appreciate the work you put in, do they? I know. I'm fairly certain a bunch of them are actually trying to break through on the side. And I'm disliking Which, how much. Um... Uh, to my right, so about as far away from you as possible to be. Gosh, you've got a huge amount of zombies on your side compared to mine. Yeah. Oh, how is it? Uh, Vulture. Okay, you to be on, on top up here. Thank you. I think you Oh, I'm worried this one's going to crash again. So I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I don't need to deal with you, so I'm not going to. Be aware that the vulture above me took a uh, crossbow bolt, a steel crossbow bolt, to the, to the well, I think it was the body, and didn't die. So I'm going to assume that it's one of the dangerous ones, so I'm not going to kill it yeah. until the, the end of, of Horde Night, when I don't care if uh, if this crashes, crashes at that point. Because yeah. Horde Night is almost over. Then it's just cleaning up. There we go. And we can say our goodbyes just in case and then kill the vulture. <laughs> and if yeah. it doesn't crash the game, hooray! If it does, oh well. But yes, I, uh, by the next Horde Night, in fact, by the next, uh, um, probably the next episode, I'll remove them so that they, they can't spawn. And in, in their place, a regular vulture will spawn. It will drop the game difficulty a very, very small amount, but it shouldn't be a big issue. They don't spawn very frequently compared to the other zombies. Yeah. I'm actually a little bit concerned with the amount of zombies over here, so... No. Unfortunately, I now can't safely go out because of the vulture out there. Yeah. Look over there, that's how many Avak is dealing with. Resorted to my pistol because I need to thin them out a bit faster. You do, yeah, you do need to thin them out. Otherwise they're going to be able to do way too much damage. Way too quickly. There we go. Nice. We survived the night. We did. Damn it. We have got some ferals here, though, because they're still running despite the uh, the night being over. I think my side might be clear, so I can come and help your side if you want. Yeah, by all means. Just avoid taking out the uh, the vulture above me. Yeah, yeah, I won't touch him. But I think our redesign can be safely said to have worked. Exactly as planned. Come on in, Spider. There we go. If you see the vulture going for you, back out. Okay, it seems yeah. stuck on the roof, honestly. I'm 100% okay with that. A little scallywag. Better than you deserve. Uh-oh. Did that spider just jump up to you? Yeah, but it got um, caught oh, on no, the spider. It is definitely not stuck in the roof. They're still trying to get in here. Oh, no. There's the spider. Stop bothering Sheila, you scoundrel. You good? Yeah, did you get the vo the spider? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Should be all right <laughs> what now. I get for trying to help. <laughs> Spiders everywhere. Okay, well, uh, I think Horde Base proven a success. I'm super yes, duper really happy well. with that. Super duper happy. But we are going to have to fix the uh, zombie vultures, unfortunately. But, yeah. you know, it's worst things could have happened. All right, so with that, I'm going to say my goodbyes now so that yeah. uh, we can safely deal with this bloody vulture, whatever it might be. Where is it? It's like hanging around in the middle. It can't decide whether to go for you or me. It's just circling. Okay. So uh, Right. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us. We really hope you enjoyed today's Horde Night. Hope you're going to be joining yes. us for the rest of the series. But until the next episode, and as always, take care just in case this crashes us. And keep being awesome. One shot. Two shot. 
it didn't crash us. Hooray! Woohoo! Woo Take care, everyone. <laughs>